That's why we should not consider ourselves worse than a disbelieving drunk laying in the gutters. We should not think ourselves better than a disbelieving drunk laying in the gutters. Because we don't know that person, Allah can give that person tawfiq to become, to, to, to accept iman and become the wali of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's still, still time for him left. And there's still time for us to be misled by the shaitan and end up in kufr. That is why, my dear brothers, that's why that's very important that we, we cleanse ourselves. That's why when we backbite our Muslim brother, what are we saying? When we fault fighting in our Muslim brothers, what are we saying? We're saying that we're better than this person. Indirectly, we're saying we're, we're better. We're finding faults in such a person. We're saying that we're better than this person. The reality is, my dear brothers, that if we see faults in others, the fault is actually in ourselves. If we're wearing glasses with mud all over them, filth all over, the, uh, all over them, dirt all over them, wherever we look, we're going to see dirt. If we clean our glasses, then wherever we look, it's going to, it's going to look clean. So my dear brothers, this is for us also tarbiyah. The work of deen is for us tarbiyah. In Makkah, they made 13 years of tarbiyah, 13 years of training themselves. And then after 13 years of training themselves, then made the Hijra to Medina, the first battle of Badr. The first battle of Badr that took place where they saw the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala came come down from the sky. The first battle of but the, they saw the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala come down from the sky. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught them, La ilaha illallah. You want to see the power that for 13 years? They're saying that Allah does, Allah does, Allah does. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala physically showed them that He does. And in the next battle, the battle of Uhud, they learned another very important lesson. That is Muhammad Rasulullah. It was the ishtihadi mistake. They told the archers to stay here. They understood we stay here until the battle is over. They thought the battle was over. But because they misunderstood the words of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah changed a victory into defeat. The sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How important in following the ways of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Once Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa was sitting in a masjid, one sahabi, he walked in, he prayed three rak'ats of salah, as it is the sunnah, and he came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa to make salam to him. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa did not reply to his salam. He said, irja' fa salli fi innaka lam tu salli. Go back and pray, you didn't pray. He did not say that your salah was deficient and had weakness in it. He says that your salah didn't exist. Negated his salah totally. Go back and pray. You didn't pray. That wasn't a salah that you did there. So the Sahabi stood up and made two rak'ats of salah. Came to make salam to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Go back and pray. You didn't pray. That wasn't a prayer. Totally negated his prayer. So the Sahabi again went back and he prayed the two rak'ats of salah again and came to Rasulullah to make salam. He didn't reply to his salam. Irja' for salli fa innaka lam tusalli. Go back and pray. He didn't pray. Totally negated his prayer. He said, Ya Rasulullah, allimni. Where is my deficiency? His deficiency was in ta'deel al-arkan. But in the qawma, in the jalsa, in between the two sajdas, he didn't pause to that, didn't pause long enough. Leaving that much of the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, 
the pausing between the different arkan, the pausing wasn't sufficient, and Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam totally negated his salah. Somebody brought this. This is how important following Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is, and especially in the work of Deen, and especially in the effort of Deen, how important it is to follow the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allahu 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 Allahu